When you think of an incredibly cold place, where do you think of? You might have said a freezer, you might have said somewhere near the poles, and if you said somewhere near the poles, the North Pole, the South Pole, then you'd be on the right lines. The lowest temperature recorded on Earth was minus 89.2 degrees Celsius, and it was measured during the middle of winter in Antarctica. So if you said Antarctica, then you'd be right in thinking it's a very, very cold place. But what about outside of the Earth? Is there anywhere that we can go in space that would be immensely cold? All you have to do is think about the furthest distance from the sun in our solar system. You might be thinking somewhere around Pluto. When the New Horizons mission flew by Pluto in 2015, which as a side note is one of my favourite missions ever, the pictures of Pluto from that mission are some of my favourite pictures ever taken, but when it flew by it was expecting to read temperatures of around minus 173 degrees Celsius, but what it actually measured was 30 degrees lower than that. You might be thinking that typically if we have something like the sun or a star and we have a planetary system around that, the further away you get from that sun or star then the lower the temperatures will be, and typically that is the case, but things come into play with the chemistry on planets that can mean that is different. So it's not always true that the planets, as they get further away from their host star, decrease in temperature. All we have to do is look at Venus. Obviously the first three planets in our solar system are Mercury, Venus, Earth. And when you think about their distances from our sun, you think that, oh, well, obviously Mercury is gonna be the hottest, then it'll be Venus and then it'll be Earth. And that's because of the distance it is away from the sun. But interestingly, Venus went through some chemical processes known as the runaway greenhouse effect. Because of that, that meant that Venus is actually the hottest planet in our solar system. It's much hotter than Mercury, even though it's actually further away from the sun. So that's a bit of a side note in terms of planets that get further away from their host stars, not always necessarily meaning they follow the trend that they decrease in temperature, but typically that's what we see. So Pluto, yes, it's a very, very cold place. So now it begs the question, okay, well, how about if we have somewhere in space that is away from any source of light and any source of heat? Hypothetically, if we were to travel to one of the remote corners of the universe, billions and billions of miles away from any galaxy or anything like that, then we would pick up the temperature that is the background temperature of the universe and that in itself is very cold. So typically astronomers use what is known as Kelvin. So Kelvin is a unit of temperature and the lowest point on the Kelvin scale is zero. Zero Kelvin is the lowest limit on the thermodynamic temperature scale and it means that all chemical processes essentially come to a halt at that temperature. So you might be wondering, oh, well, does that mean that if we go to the most remote corner of our universe where it's incredibly cold, that would be zero Kelvin? And the answer is no, it's actually slightly higher than zero Kelvin. Zero Kelvin is the same as minus 273.15 degrees Celsius, and the background temperature of the universe is minus 270 degrees Celsius. So there's a slight deviation there. Now you might be wondering, well, why on earth isn't it zero Kelvin? What caused the background temperature of our universe to be slightly higher than that? And it's because space itself is permeated with what is known as the cosmic microwave background radiation. And this is what is known as the afterglow of the Big Bang. Essentially, everything started in a very hot, compact, dense state. And as it expanded over time, that space cooled. And that is what we see when we measure the background temperature of our universe. So yeah, the Big Bang has left space pretty, pretty cold. Now, I asked at the start of the video where you thought the coldest place on Earth was. And to extend that, you might be thinking, okay, well, the, the coldest place in our universe is probably that remote corner that I just mentioned. But it's actually not true. Scientists on Earth have been able to get a temperature that is very, very close to zero Kelvin. So we can say that the coldest place in our universe is actually here on Earth, unless there is obviously some other planet out there, intelligent life planet that has managed to get it to exactly zero Kelvin, which is would be absolutely insane. But for now, let's just say that we are the only place in the universe that has the coldest ever recorded temperature. So how was that actually done? In 2003, there were a group of MIT scientists who were researching cooling sodium gas. 
and they were able to cool sodium gas to the lowest temperature ever recorded at that time, which was only half a billionth degree higher than absolute zero. Now you might think that's absolutely insane, until I tell you that in 2021, there were four research institutes from around Germany and they were able to condition a lab to register the coldest effective temperature. And this was 38 trillionths above zero Kelvin, which is absolutely mind blowing. Now it obviously begs the question, well, can we get to exactly zero? And the short answer is probably not. It requires an immense amount of energy to get to such a low temperature. So unfortunately, no, but I think 38 trillionths above zero is pretty much good enough. What we've looked at in this video, I personally think is really, really cool. You can go and ask somebody, where do you think the coldest place in our universe is? And they probably tell you, oh, it's probably Pluto or it's somewhere where there's no light. And actually it's here on earth, albeit in a research controlled environment, but I still think it's pretty cool. Thank you for watching this video and I'll see you all in the next one.